broad brush across everything else. You know, you, you, you're chirping from a sedentary position, but um, you know, when, when it comes to you know the, the, the other point that's been raised with reference to severance payments, severance payments are statutory in, in, in there. It is wholly inappropriate for political intervention on those and just trying to make a thing. Um, there's, there's been many things, many said, and many people have received them over the years from both sides of this house, and there shouldn't therefore be you know, a, a political interference in, in, in that sort of thing. It's up to the individuals. If they want to choose not to take it because they think it's inappropriate, then they can make those decisions. What do you think? What do I think? I think it depends on the individual. You've, you've, you've chirped and talked. Do you want to hear or do you want to shut up? Apologies. Oh, hold on. My apologies, Mr. Deputy oh, Speaker. Well, well, we accept yeah. the apology. But by the way, this isn't a chat. This is a debate. Mr. Hull. My apologies. No, in, in, you know, the, the particular one has been the reference in terms of the Prime Minister in terms of getting a severance because of being short term in the job. Minister for many, 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 many years, which is where which drives the severance. But anyway, I go back to my final point. I have every confidence that the Chancellor and the Prime Minister will do the right thing on Thursday, and I look forward to the autumn statement. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen Hayes.